Okay, I went and dug out my tranny, my six speed out of the hole over here. I'm gonna move all this car crap. It's buried in that hole back in there. So, anyway, this is my Dyna six speed, and obviously it's got some issues here with the uh, mounting system. So, I'm not sure how much I can really check with that. We're gonna take the M8 case here and bolt together and see if it lines up with these bolt holes here and see if it might work. I know the five speed is different. The five speed was way too narrow. I guess I could just take it like this and I can use it for now, but mate them together here and see if it's close. It looks like it's about the same to me. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the it's the same bolt pattern as this one. Well, that's different though. That's that's really wide compared to this one. There's a difference there. Look at that. So the bottoms are probably the same. If I had to guess, it looks about the same down there. The top here might be the same too. Does this thing just roll over that far? Maybe that's the problem. It's rolled over. You know, it's definitely sticking out further. These two are pretty much stacked evenly. This one here goes way off to the side. All right, who knows? I so said that's made to go to a B motor. This is made to go to an A motor. So I don't know. I never compared the two. Let's see. We're gonna see where we compare to an M8. Too many variables on this Dom Harley junk. I think they would have standardized. Now I got a difference between a soft tail and a real bike. I think they only make one case, so that's the thing. No, the B case is different. Alright. Get this junk out of the Too much junk. Okay, this goes on to here. I'm gonna start the ball before you go all the way down. That's it, get back over there. Alright, that's tight. No gaps, that's good. Not even close. So I'm going to jack this up a little bit, uh, level it out. Ah. Back being a pain again. Okay, we line up the bottom one here, semi-close. You can still see how this is way different here. Now, I don't know where the bolt comes out this far, but you wouldn't think it'd be right on top of the oil cap. It'd be hard to get the cap off. So it's probably over here, I'm guessing. And obviously, there's a lot missing here. It's hard to believe the ear would stick out that far. Obviously, it's broken, so I don't know. <clears throat> well, there's the pickup area right here. Okay, so you see there's no gasket surface here, so obviously this is wider. Because if you move this over to where the oil holes lined up halfway close, it'd be about here. 
and that looks about right for an ear if you were that spot. But you can still see your way off here and your way off down here. Same problem I had with that tranny, didn't line up for the M8. So it looks like each transmission is going to have to match each case. So Dyna's fit Dyna. Dyna and Road Turret should be the same case. Touring bikes and then soft tails by itself. And then M8's by itself. So each one's different. So whatever tranny I use, I have to be the same. So that means if I want to bolt my transmission case to a to a bike, it's going to have to bolt to a sports, I mean to a to a soft tail motor case. Because otherwise this bolt pattern here is wrong. Because obviously a touring bike has this one. There we go. And these are not vertical. These ones are symmetrical, square. This one here is offset slightly. These two are vertical. So that would be a problem. <clears throat> so I could probably extend the ear out to make it work, but I don't know. Unknown. So it looks like I can't mix 5-speed and 6-speed cases, and I can't mix twin cam with M8. That sucks. You can, you can mix Evo and Shovelhead and 5-speed stuff. It's all the same 4-bolt pattern. Why would the hell they make these things all different? That's stupid. But that's Harley for you. <clears throat> Alright, so that eliminates that plan. So if I'm going to use a stronger M8 case over on this side, I'd have to deal with a stupid hump in the front, and I'd have to use a M8 tranny in primary. If I use the 5 speed soft tail tranny, then I gotta use, uh, looks like I have to use an, uh, a, tran um, yeah, a twin cam B motor case, which I don't want to do. Because that has two of these abortions hanging out, one on each side. Obviously, I don't want that. So now I gotta find me a Dyna transmission to fit behind an early twin cam, which is this transmission, but earlier. And that sh should bolt on, maybe. But I'll know until I get it. So I guess first I gotta find me a motor case for an early twin cam and then deal with that. If I wanna use the late twin cam bolt pattern over here to get more strength, then I'm gonna have to use a stupid six speed tranny that's weak as hell. So now the next thing is what can I do to a six speed to make it live and not break? So. That means I gotta pull this lid off and see what it looks like on the inside, and then maybe there's a way of doing a girdle or something in there. So let me uh, pop that off and then we'll see. We're back. All right, we're back. Get this lid off of here, and let's see what's on the inside of this thing. Let's speed up the process a little bit. Ooh, it's got a lot of water in that line. Good gasket on here. Yeah, all fake. That doesn't help much. You can't see squat. Why'd they do all that work for that fake cover? Did they plan on putting something in there at one time? Why oh, you need to cover this big? Why'd they do that? I don't know. That's kind of stupid. Alright, so obviously I can't see in there. But I don't see any room to do anything. You got gear, gear against next gear. And from what I can see, there's no extra room to do anything. You know, maybe there's a place to put a dog bone between the two gears, the shafts keep them spread apart and breaking gears, but from what I can see right now, there's no room in there. 
Okay, I'll have to go look at a set of gear set online. Maybe I can see something. It's a neutral switch there. I don't understand what they got this cavity in here for. They got oil holes in it. There's some kind of expansion tank deal going on there. I'm not sure what they're doing. It's kind of it's a lot of work to put that in there for nothing. It doesn't do a damn thing as far as I can tell. But you can see they got a hole in it. They definitely want that cavity. They're using the air volume for something. There's your vent. So I guess they're just using that for an air separation device. It's an air chamber. <coughs> Excuse me. So it vents in the chamber here. You only get that little hole to get through. So that's one chamber. Then you go through here. You can see we got two holes. One for drain. And one to let the air in. So there's the splashing all over the place. They're trying to keep the oil from coming out the puke tube. But I didn't know we had a problem coming out the puke tube on old bikes. This one here just has a hole right inside the cover and it pukes out and never had a problem. So I don't know. It just gives that. And these things hardly ever have any oil on them. So. Why did you do all that extra work? I haven't got a clue. I could have very easily put some kind of little valve thing right here in the back and do the same thing, but <clears throat> who knows? Harley is a ingenious on how they come up with stupid stuff. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a problem on mate and trannies to junk. I still like my five speed, but might not be able to use a soft tail five speed. Might have to go to a dyna five speed. Yeah, I want to do a dyna five speed. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, we'll figure it out. Plan, plan, plan. We'll think of something. The other thing I got is I got my Buell motor over here. So that's the next one. All right, <clears throat> we'll be back.